Last Wednesday, the prep gym came alive when a Native American dance group, Indigenous Enterprise, performed in celebration of Native American Heritage Month. The event, which featured performances by members of the Navajo and Seminole tribes, included traditional dances and music, showcasing the rich traditions of Native American culture. Well, every style that's going to be shown today has different origins and styles, and it goes back centuries and centuries. So, But it's supposed to be after giving off a healing, and it's supposed to be giving those good blessings to people that are watching. Filmmaker Kenneth Shirley formed a group in 2015 and worked to share and educate others on his Native American roots. I Me, mean, it's just like it always connects me to my culture. I've been doing it since I was two years old, so it's always been a part of me and always something that I love to do, and I always want to be able to showcase that with every chance I get. What started off as traditions he learned as a young child has grown to a professional indigenous dance group that has toured both in the U.S. and internationally. Native American culture is alive, well, and thriving just because you don't see it represented as much as other ethnicities that we're still here just as much and still carrying on our traditions. And Aside from providing a glimpse into the traditions of Native Americans, seminal hip-hop artist Doc Native performed his rap hit Dream, which connected with students. I really liked the presentation because it showed how integrated they were in the actual hip-hop society. No matter where he performs, Shirley's goal is always the same, to create a connection with the audience. Um, I just really want people to feel something. Like, I hate watching videos and stuff, and you know, because we, we consume so much content today and social media, TikTok, all these different things, but a lot of it doesn't mean anything. I want, if somebody watches something that might work, I would want them to, like, walk away with an emotion. This is Eduardo Kingston reporting for Reader Voice.